Uh, next up here, let's do a little update on the Minecraft movie because a lot has been going down uh, with the production of it. So last time we talked about the Minecraft movie, guys, we've been seeing all these set photos uh, that were getting released online uh, of the sets being built. Those are some of the new photos, and we're going to take a look at them. A lot of them are coming from this account. Let me follow them on my alt. Uh, Josh Space, it looks like he's a, a big Minecraft fan, and he's been hanging around the sets of the Minecraft movie and taking all these pictures. These were the original photos. Uh, that first came up where we saw they were building a tree and we're like, dude, look at those realistic textures in a QB Minecraft world. They're like, let your mind race. Like, dude, what is this movie going to look like? How awesome is it going to be here? How weird is it going to look? And we got new photos and a uh, plot detail. So let's look at some of these photos starting at the bottom. Uh, some of the newer ones that we got revealed uh, were here of workers building them. <laughs> Dude, I wonder how annoying that must be to build it. But I'm also excited because that means they're not using all that much green screen. We have here a tree with some yellow flowers on it looking nice. They even have the little stump of grass. So it's going to be layered like in a lot of those Minecraft photos. Uh, if we go here, this is the photo that was confusing a lot of people. And I'm not going to lie, it was confusing me too. So these are two separate photos. And on one hand, we have like a green screen and this like door. And then we have just this regular blown up picture of an icy Minecraft mountain. And people were just kind of like, huh, okay, you have the green screen, but then you have the picture mountain. How does that work? I have no idea how movies work or how they're made, the magic of them. But that's kind of interesting that they have that. It also makes you wonder what's inside this. But I was seeing so many people confused with the way this was going to work. Okay. Oh, okay. See here, like this person here. Okay, wait, first, why isn't this green screen? Is this actually going to be used in the movie or is it a reference point for the post editors or something like that? Second, how have you survived this long without getting taken out by Warner Brothers again? For real, dude, this guy here has been taking so many photos, but I think it's it's part of marketing the movie. I'm not saying like uh, he's a Warner Brothers plant. He might be. He might be just someone who works for Warner Brothers and trying to generate hype, but like this kind of stuff does excite people and so far i don't think he's posted anything spoiler issue that ruins the movie it's just a bunch of random props being built and if anything it gives the movie some credit because it's like oh they're actually building props and not just green screen looking at it here looks like we have like a, a, a stairway heading up that's all green screen there's some rocks you can see under the scaffolding there it's like what the heck and then here i don't even know what is this just like someone's wall someone's home that they built that's what the, <laughs> that kind of looks like Either way, I'm loving the set of the Minecraft movie. I think all these photos is just getting me excited to see what the movie's actually going to look like. But I'm still very curious about the plot, right? Last we heard from Jack Black is that he said the movie is almost like an origin story for Minecraft. The movie takes place before Minecraft is even a thing or exists. And you're like, what? Okay, how does, how does that work? What do you mean it's an origin story for Minecraft or it takes place before? So I saw this scooper. Uh, let me see if I can find the actual, I know I just had them, uh, Divinity, uh, Nitty Seeker, I believe was their name, let's see if I can get them set up right, uh, they, uh, they've been a scooper I've been following, and they've gotten some stuff right, they've also gotten stuff wrong, let me follow them on my alt, uh, but, uh, just to show you some of the stuff that they've gotten right, to give them a little bit of credibility, and they always confirm whenever they get things right, uh, so they talked about like the new. They first reported that the new Avengers movie will not be Kang Dynasty. Later, months later, we found out that was true. And so he says here, now that's been confirmed. Uh, he also had some details. Oh, let me see here. That's one scoop that he got wrong that he admitted. He said John Krasinski was going to be uh, Reed Richards in the Fantastic Four movie, and that turned out wrong. But and like other scoopers who delete it and pretend they never said it, he was up front and he's like, oh, I got that information wrong. Another scoop. So anyways, he just has a track record of showing when he gets stuff right and he admits when he gets stuff wrong. And so that kind of uh, lets me uh, trust him a little bit. So here they have the first plot that was revealed for the movie. All right. So it says here, the upcoming Minecraft movie is set in the real world. However, our cast gets transported into the world of Minecraft in a very lighthearted and comedic family journey story. More akin to Dungeons and Dragons movie with more tongue in cheek jokes. Momoa and J uh, Jack Black are OC. Give me a sec.
Sorry, my dog wanted to be let out of the room. Guess he doesn't like me yapping about Minecraft. <laughs> but uh, OC means original characters. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. Because we did hear Jack Black is playing Steve. And Steve isn't really an original character. I mean, he's someone uh, that's existed in the Minecraft world. But maybe they just mean the characteristics put on to Steve will be original, right? And so, like, sound hearing that, that sounds like a stereotypical plot, right? Is going from the real world into the Minecraft world, and then they have an adventure, a lot like that Dungeons & Dragons movie that was just released that I thought was actually a lot of fun, super enjoyable. I was like, okay. And then they go into more details about it, uh, revealing some more new characters, and that'll let you know whether uh, they're being honest or not with their scoops. They're saying, the movie is also debuting a new exclusive hostile monster, but described as silly fun, Mob, that will also release in-game to coincide with the movie releasing next April 2025. The mob chases the player and will chase our lead characters as they arrive in the world. So it looks like the movie's also going to be introducing some newer characters. I have a very surface level knowledge of Minecraft. Uh, unfortunately, that was getting popular by the time I was already grown. But I had a little brother who played Minecraft like crazy and I would, uh, I'd see him play from time to time. And... There's, I know there's so many creatures and, and animals within the Minecraft world, but it looks like they're going to be creating their own for the movie called The Mob. And I'm guessing that's why he used this gif right here to kind of represent them. But I think these are supposed to be spiders in a cave. But um, they're also going to integrate them with the game. It's saying here that it'll be part of the game, that they'll introduce them in like sometime before the movie. So if you start seeing uh, the new Minecraft game introduce new characters, they might be part of the movie. Oh, I think it's fine it's all the way they go about handling it uh i really thought here with him saying like momo and J jack black are o original characters uh i wonder if they're like two friends that get stuck in the minecraft world and they team up together i honestly thought momo was going to end up uh, voicing like the ender dragon or something like that in the universe just because he has that very like powerful growly voice it just feels like he would be a good fit for like one of the dragon creatures in minecraft um uh, but yeah, that's so far what we got here. I'm hoping this is going to be good, but there's still so much about the movie I'd like to see. Like when we get revealed the human characters, right? We still don't know what they're going to be looking like <laughs> with their realistic textures all boxed up. And if they go from the real world into the Minecraft world, how did that happen? Is it like a portal? You know, I know I know in Minecraft you create portals to go into different realms and whatnot. Um is that what happened here? Is it a Jumanji situation where it's like, hey, I just created this game Minecraft. Let me plug it into this TV and they get sucked into the TV. Like that'd be a little too much like the Jumanji world. So I think it would have to be a thing kind of like where it's a portal to another world. And then maybe one of them is like a video game designer and is having trouble like finding out a new video game. They go through this adventure. They live through all that. Then when they get back to the real world, he's like, hmm, this would make a good video game. And that's how they tie in the origin of the Minecraft movie is they went through this adventure and got the idea to make the video game. They produced the video game. That probably could also lead into sequels then because then other people could get trapped into the Minecraft world. I don't know. I'm just talking out my butt here. But we look at these set photos. You guys see um, these plot details. Are you liking it? Are you against it? Let me know.